This is Ross and Leanne Crays. They run a busy small business from home near Campbelltown, about 50 kilometres southwest of Sydney. Leanne Crays. Consulting on issues of mental health and social policy. Their business is a member of Beyond Blue's Heads Up initiative, working to create mentally healthy workplaces, okay. including their own. Yes, yeah, certainly did. Okay. What are some of the pitfalls of working from home? There's no separation between work and home. And so um, we just can work very long days, you know, like 16, 18 hours a day if, if we're not careful. Tell me a bit about your work with farmers. So here it is here. It was at the height of the drought. New South Wales farmers wanted us to go out and talk with farmers about their stress. It was really ironic. That particular period of our work was full on. The itinerary that we had was punishing. I came away from that really aware that I wasn't in fact looking after myself and that I wasn't picking up on my, my own stress. As it turned out, the solution to their problems was just outside their front door. We're just so lucky to live on this beautiful Campbelltown golf course. And what we realised that once we got stressed, if we just left what we were doing and came out into the plantings, pulled a few weeds, checked on how things were going, and just sucked in the fresh air. It's about sustainable working. Um, so you can extend your working day or life and at the same time get great ideas while your brain's just freewheeling while you're doing some gardening. So how do you structure this into your day? Or is it unstructured? It can be both. Um, if we've been up and just constantly at the computer screen, you know, one of us will say, let's just have a break. Other times it's precipitated by not getting anywhere. And so we realise, OK, stress is huge. Let's down tools and let's come out, pick up different tools. And then we can go back in and we're much calmer. Now, Ross, the planting here is going really well. How did it all come about? Well, we used to um, watch all this water just career down the hill uh, through the pathway and into the lake, and it was so sad to see so much water disappearing. So thought we'd do an experiment where in the gap there we just filled up a mound of dirt and then overplanted it with natives and mulch and basically stopped the flow of water whenever it came down the hill. How did you go about choosing the species? Well, we did some research, because we'd moved up from down near Canberra. We didn't know what was native to the Cumberland Plains. So we wandered over to Mount Annan Botanical Gardens, and then we got on the internet and got some books out and had a look around the area. You've got some classic Sydney grevilleas here. Yeah, we've got the white spider flower and the grey one. We're very proud of this area, because it was just a dumping ground and we've just turned it into this lovely native garden. What started as a mental health circuit breaker has now grown into something much bigger. The next thing we knew, the council saw what we were doing and they got all positive and said, come on, guys, um, uh, you, you know, sign up and volunteer us uh, for the bush care here. So, so we started what's known as the Glen Alpine Golf Course Bush Care Group. Oh, thanks, Sib. Oh, that's right. Some water on it. So how many beds would you have planted by now? I reckon we've planted at least 10 beds of varying sizes. And we've probably planted thousands of thousands. trees and bushes and wildflowers. So many. Yeah. So many. It's been great. Not only have Ross and Leanne created a workplace that sustains their mental health, they've done wonders for their local golf course. an easy game. <laughs>